Autosport comes in and steals the top spot on the podium for realistic racing games on the Switch. Not only does it feature a wide variety of racetracks and cars, but they all look about as realistic as the Switch can handle without exploding. Grid Autosport is definitely going for a more simulation-like experience, but there is a wide range of options to customize the difficulty and controls for your vehicle. Best of all, the game includes local and online multiplayer, something that every racing game worth its salt needs. Super Mario Kart set the standard for kart racing games with its original release on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. It went on to set the standard every time another entry in the series was released, and this has continued to be the case for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Though the game is also available on the Wii U, this Deluxe version is the definitive experience. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe excels at pretty much everything. From great online play to fair item scaling based on what place you are currently in, this kart racing party game is the quintessential romp for any gaming get-together. You don't even need a TV since the Switch can be used as the screen. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, by far one of the most addictive Nintendo Switch exclusives available today. For years, Nintendo has had success making Mario Kart games popular with the widest possible audience. To compete with Nintendo and offer a kart racer for Sony PlayStation, Naughty Dog has released Crash Team Racing. It was essentially a Mario Kart clone, but rather than being a game based on Nintendo's IP, we have a title based on the popular platform character Crash Bandicoot. Years later, the remake brought the popular game back to life for the next generation. In the game, you can choose from a variety of characters from the Crash Bandicoot series as you race on various tracks from the PlayStation series. During the race, you'll find different power-ups that can help give you a boost or an attack power to fight off other racers on the course. There is one Need for Speed game that is unilaterally agreed upon as excellent. That game is Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, and you can play the remaster of this classic cops and robbers arcade racing game on the go with the Nintendo Switch port. You can switch between being a cop or an illegal street racer whenever you want, meaning things never get stale. Add to this a competitive leaderboard where you're encouraged to beat all your friends times, and this game has a ton of replay value. Horizon Chase Turbo is very similar to the arcade racing games you may have seen and played in the 1980s and 1990s. Within the game, players own a powered car and have to race against the clock or other players in a series of exotic locations. Its enormous selection of tracks, addictive world tour mode and excellent local multiplayer make it an absolute must-have for anyone even remotely interested in the genre. There is a phenomenon on the Nintendo Switch in which mobile games are ported over. 
Most of these games are better played on your phone, but Asphalt 9 Legends is a fully-fledged game and definitely worth downloading on the console. Not only does it have realistic graphics, but there is online multiplayer, a huge selection of cars and tracks, and best of all a comprehensive career mode to play through. One of the best things about the game is that it's completely free to play. Hotshot Racing is a new take on retro arcade-style racing. It's bright and colorful while providing a thrilling, fast-paced racing gameplay experience. Throw out the physics and simulation for this game as it's all about exotic locations and high speeds. Fans of the classic 90s-style arcade cabinet racing games will find plenty of nostalgia here. This game has a few different game modes to enjoy, for instance, outside of standard racing and drifts, there are cops and robbers. In this game mode, one player starts as a cop and must attempt to catch up to a robber who would convert them into police and add to your ranks in hopes of catching all of the robbers in time. Meanwhile, there is another game mode called Drive or Explode. Here players all have a bomb attached to their vehicle, which will explode if players drop below a certain speed limit. Burnout is one of the racing series, known for its high-octane treks through crowded urban streets rather than taking place on an isolated track. Burnout Paradise took this to the next level, with its open-world city absolutely filled to the brim with races, crashes, and secrets to find. Burnout Paradise Remastered is available on the Switch, and the style of play it sets up of driving around in the open world or taking part in a quick race perfectly complements the Switch's portability. Best of all, the crashes are totally glorious, this is Criterion Games at its best. Get ready for a new racing experience featuring a roster of your favorite Chocobo characters, complete with their own unique abilities and variants. Equip Magicites and stumble upon the competition as you drift through a variety of familiar courses in online and offline multiplayer modes. You have to compete in tournaments and become the reigning champion of the GP. The game story mode, though a bit of a misfire, is one of the most flashy and fun kart racers currently available with other modes in 64-player Carnage. On Switch and with the free light version available, you have nothing to lose by checking it out for yourself before making a purchase. If you frequented the arcades back in the 1990s, then you might recall the Crucian Racing franchise. The newest installment, Crucian Blast, was released for the Switch in 2021. This bright and colorful game acts much like the original titles, and it's an over-the-top arcade racing experience. Get behind the wheel of a muscle car and barrel down the road in a collection of wacky environments, featuring anything from bustling cities to a land before time with dinosaurs roaming around. It offers four-player racing, and it's a suitable title for all ages. Those not thrilled over the high realism of simulation, racing should take a look into this title. Those looking for an F-Zero replacement on Switch, look no further, as this launch game by Shin-In Multimedia is still about as close as you'll get. Though fast RMX isn't going to blow past Captain Falcon and company, this futuristic racer tosses in a few neat features that make it stand out on its own merit. 
The game features subtle yet effective color switching mechanics used on the fly. You'll need to flip the color of your car's lights to utilize the corresponding strip on the track for boosting. Added to this are some impressive particle and lighting effects along with split screen and online multiplayer. Gotcha Racing Second is a generous slice of retro racing content with hidden depths, one you can play for two minutes or two hours and always have incredible fun. There is no single winning car combination, so you will constantly keep coming back to get new parts and customize your four different designs in order to shave off seconds in the Grand Prix tracks, and the game might even turn out to become a party favorite with your friends. I recommend this second overhead racing fantasy even if you missed the first game with a reasonable price to add, fun and plenty of content. Hot Wheels is the ideal toy to make into a video game and Hot Wheels Unleashed proves this. Rather than trying to make Hot Wheels into a realistic racing game, Hot Wheels Unleashed stresses accessible, arcade-style driving and gives you a look into the toy's perspective. The best part about Hot Wheels Unleashed is that it takes place on actual Hot Wheels tracks and houses that feel massive relative to the small size of the cars. You can even make your own tracks and relive every child's dream of getting in their favorite car and racing around the track they made in the backyard. Mantis Bird Racing is a game that looks a bit like Absolute Drift in that it's a top-down racer. However, it's a lot more intense than Absolute Drift as it's a vehicle combat racer with intense courses that range from cities and tundra to off-road courses. Players will not only be going through races but can also compete in a series of weekly challenges and other thrilling game modes, such as time trials or knockout-based gameplay. This game may take a bit to get used to, with the top-down perspective, but once you get the hang of things, there are plenty of options to make upgrades to your vehicle for better performance. While there are plenty of racing and driving games on Switch in some form, the deeper, more refined sims are still rare. Enter NASCAR Rivals from Motorsport Games, a title that nicely fills a Switch niche. The game sets out to not only mirror pro auto racing but specifically emulate the 2022 NASCAR Cup Series. A slew of diverse content has been released out of the gate, with more promise down the pipeline. These include a deep career mode, a challenge mode, and a feature that connects players with random drivers in any track. On a technical level, the game does what it can with the Switch's relatively limited hardware, though it plays fairly smoothly and looks great to boot. Grip Combat Racing makes a great fit for Switch with its frantic, pick-up-and-play style and undiluted arcade gameplay. While apparently a spiritual successor to the even lesser-known role case, Studio Caged Element makes this chaotic combat formula its own. The game brings a satisfying array of weapons, power-ups, and double-sided vehicles that can ride 360 degrees and flip about. Grip offers solid multiplayer, online and four-player split-screen, which hosts intense, F-Zero-style elimination races and a combat-centric arena. What's more, Grip can often be found heavily discounted, making this romp all the more worth the ride.
If you're looking for a nostalgia trip, you can't go wrong with OutRun. This classic arcade game has been around for ages, tasking players with racing through different parts of the world to beat the clock. While racing down the streets, you'll need to make difficult turns and avoid different obstacles that would spin your vehicle out, causing you to lose some very precious time. The surprising thing about Star Wars Episode I Racer is that it stands up against many of Switch's other arcade-style racers despite being 20 years old. It doesn't even have cars in it, instead, you race with pods like in the film. Despite it all, this game lives up to its legacy and then some. This is not a remaster, though there are some quality of life improvements like motion controls. That means that even though the gameplay is solid, some things clearly show its age, like the somewhat loose controls, the compressed music, and especially the N64 era graphics. Kart racing games are a classic way for games that are traditionally from other genres to effectively mix things up. The classic example is Mario Kart, but Sonic has had a number of racing games over the years both in karts, on foot, and on hoverboards. Of course, Sonic is the perfect subject for a racing game, given his speed and Team Sonic Racing is a great example of this. While it definitely shares a number of things in common with Mario Kart, Team Sonic Racing has enough unique content to be enjoyable. Mario Kart is an iconic racing franchise for Nintendo. While the company has brought out several installments for both consoles and their portable handheld systems, there was a pretty drastic change up to the IP with the release of Mario Kart Live Home Circuit. This is a different kind of game altogether as it takes place in mixed reality. Players are given all the tools to set up a racetrack within their own homes. Afterward, players can desync their Nintendo Switch to an RC vehicle supplied with the game, allowing players to race around their homes. With the RC car featuring a camera, players can see the course ahead while adding in opponents and the various power-ups to be used virtually. It's a different kind of a Mario Kart experience for sure, but one that may appeal to a broad audience. 